exuberant rap, that awkward moment, what's going on, thick rear end, very wide, man in the boots, girl on girl action. <laughs> And welcome to my man cave, or should I call it my gender fluid cave? And my new white food mini fridge that you can win. Today I'm heading to the first modified car show of the year, and white food has sponsored this video to give you the chance to win one of these. So this Adam C branded fridge is currently in my man cave. It will be relocated to somewhere else in the house soon. But this is where I currently keep all of my white food flavours: from salted caramel at the top, we've got banana on the middle shelf, we've got chocolate, we've got coffee, we've got fresh berry coconut and vanilla at the bottom and one of my new hazelnut flavours too. Why food, as I'm sure you know by now, is the ultimate convenience drink. It can fill you up for between three to five hours and can be breakfast, lunch or dinner. And if you are a UK resident, all you need to do to win one of these fridges is to check out my Instagram post. I've put a post about this fridge up and tag one friend, that's all you need to do, and then I will select a winner at random to win this fridge. You've got 48 hours from this video being posted, so best of luck and I look forward to picking the winner at random and sending you the Y Food Mini Fridge. Now, let's go to the Sharnbrook Hotel for the Petrol Hedonism slash Auto ID Car Show for modified cars. Parked up this time at the back of the Shambrook and in a nice lineup of three 350Z. So we've got my Roadster that doesn't convert. We've got the very modified example here. It's been lowered. It's got a wrap on the rear of it with white wheels and then a silver example next to that. There's a bit of a diffuser on it as well. This one's also recently been detailed and we were looking at it compared to my one, which I did about two years ago. And the difference of paint and the shine and depth is quite comparable. But this, the Auto ID show is mostly for modified cars and a lot of slammed cars and wrapped cars. You can see there's a green R33 behind me, there's a 997, there's an M4, there's a bit of variety at the moment, but this is like a bit of an overflow section. We've even got right said Fred over here who is too sexy for his car. We've got the M2, the Focus RS and a bit of a Golf GTI combo, one a bit lower than the other, next to an R32 Golf. And then we've got the Citroen C2 which gives us a chance to play a game of what's inside your car. On this week's episode we have Fluffy Dice, a fluffy steering wheel, a duck called George, and another Citroen C2. And a fun fact for you, I actually built this very car. That's why the doors don't quite shut. I sold the model on and I found it again. It's on this C2. How weird is that? I built that as a kid whilst my parents were on holiday and I was being looked after by my grandparents, but you didn't actually need to know that. But there it is. And he's next to an Audi A1 who is so low that he is physically in pain. Ow. Then we've got the V10 Audi RS6. A slightly rude V10 Audi RS6. And I think the common denominator of today's event will be wrapped M140Is. What kind of green would you say that is? I think it's, it's yellow. It's not yellow. It's yellow. It's green. It's yellowy. It's like a, a, a vibrant olive green with a black stripe. A bit like the policeman officers who are walking down inspecting the cars, making sure that we're all distant. Oh, no, 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 no. It, it says that's yellow, so that, that's that, yellow. Yeah, what? It throws it. It's yellow. It's not green. It, its Instagram tag is that's yellow M140Is. So apparently it's yellow. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. No, it's not my sunglasses. It's it's. I'd say that's green. I no, it's yellow. I'd say that's yellow. It's more yellow. Uh, I think you might be a little bit colour blind. Well, at least we can confirm that this 840i is blue. <laughs> <laughs> he is next to the black C63 and this very intriguing purple BMW F80 M3. I am joking, by the way. I know it's not purple. <laughs> I was about to come over and be like, oh no. Uh, it'll, it'll make me go viral, though. <laughs> yeah, this one's a bit of green, a bit of yellow. It's almost like a brushed look to it as well. Two-tone, colour flip, a bit of... I don't know. It's an interesting colour. I like that. Mm. And then we've got this lineup of three BMWs and has anyone lost a snake? Hopefully the police officers haven't clocked these absolute criminals over here gradually give us a chance for a sticker showcase whoa dave fab money pit is it it's it's a clear with, with a cushion it's got some kind of external antenna like a policeman officer would have oh wow what is that 
What is inside his car? And then we've got a fruity lineup. We've got the AC Schnitzer BMW M2 next to an E46 M3. Also, in closer inspection of this E46 M3, it's not grey or silver, it's got a bit of pink in the colour. Don't know if you can see that on the camera, or maybe I am just colourblind and it's actually black. And now we have the combo of the century Adam with Adam. Adam C. So far today, I'm really enjoying checking out all the cool plates on display. Ah, oh, is it plates? I was reading it's Pilates. I was oh, like, they're Chloe. Just... <laughs> I was just like, oh, he just really enjoys uh, exercise. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got the Jaguar XFRS with a MX-5 in front of him. Is he broken down or showing off that he has an engine? No, no, he is showing off his turbo. This panel identifies as red, for it should be. I imagine this panel also identifies as red. It's always fun seeing cars slammed that you don't normally see slammed, like this Jag. There's also a nice lineup of M2s over here, finished off with an M4 at the top. We've got the Lupo that has been lowered. And then we've got the Toyota Corolla sat right at the front in front of the M car lineup. And now the lineup that you've all probably not been waiting for but have in front of us now. We've got the R35 GTR lineup in front of the Sharnbrook Hotel. So we start with a fairly standard but loud white example. Then we've got purple with the spoiler on the back and the titanium tips. But in front of the purple GTR with the vents that do vent on the wing, we've got a grey example, blue tip like the Z and in front of that a very slammed completely on the floor baby blue Nissan GTR. I don't think I've seen a GTR that low before or at least not one that's fairly visually stock other than its lowness. And next on we've got this metallic matte grey Nissan GTR with the large carbon spoiler and carbon diffuser, large tips and it looks like his dog has taken a bite out of the end plate of his spoiler. He's got the matching carbon bonnet who is is behind a Nismo plated GTR. It's not actually a Nismo GTR, but it's got the red details and the plate as a bit of a homage. And maybe it does have some Nismo parts on it. He is behind the red GTR, another large spoiler on the rear, and some titanium tips. We've got the bronze wheels too, and he is behind a lovely cherry red R35 GTR. I haven't seen a lot in this colour, it looks really nice. And this is paint on the GTR, it's not a wrap, and it's such an astonishing colour. A really nice deep cherry red. Red. Okay, at the front of the Schaumburg Hotel, we've got the low BMW, we've got the A1 and a very b -b -b bad M4. So this section is usually reserved for some of the star cars of the show. Today we've got a lowered Audi A5 next to a GLC 43 in like a satin turquoise. And then we've got this Mark 7 Golf R with a bit of a debate about the Ferrari center caps. We were thinking earlier it could just be a, a cap that comes off to reveal the studs underneath. Who's part next to another Mark 7 Golf in a very vibrant green with canards and a bit of low with matching green calipers and some rose gold wheels? Rose gold wheels? Like skin coloured, maybe. Then we've got a slightly modified Toyota CHR with a stripe and a wrap. And then we've got the Bumblebee a bath next to the Seat FR with Ferrari wheels. Ferrari. And closer to the hotel, we've got this lowered E36 convertible with some kind of side skirt delete and a bit of a message for us. Your demons are closer than they appear. Oh no. And then a lovely E39 with Pablo the Range Rover. Then we've got a lineup of German whips. This one looks like it's got a roof box, so I think it's some detailing supplies. This Audi actually does have a roof box. He's also posed his wheels for the photos, but kept its bonnet up. And then quite the juxtaposition, the standard white BMW next to the high vis Volkswagen Scirocco with the spoiler on the back and vents that do seem to vent. And the flies are loving this car. He's got the yellow R badge to match the yellow tyre writing and yellow calipers that could do with a clean. And with the large spoiler that's creating a bit of a shadow, we've also got blacked out rear lights on the Scirocco R. But then we have Lupo, F80, M3, M2, and an S1 with some large quad tips on the rear next to another Scirocco that's been lowered in purple. He's got his colourful LEDs on with its carbon bonnet too, looking quite demonic. And round the corner is the car that we followed in. This is the BMW 8 Series with a rather exuberant wrap. We've got the pink bats at the front and matte black at the rear. Of course the Batman bat on the front by the band and a pink bat on the rear. Fast Bay. And if you don't like it, here's one for you. 
Why so serious? Live a little. We've also got this wild Mark 1 Focus RS with a spoiler on the back. We've got the custom headlights and some definite ventable vents <laughs> in the bonnet. Oh no, someone's left his whole car behind. It's an emu! His name's what else? That awkward moment when your rear bumper falls off on your way up to this show. This has obviously been done to show off his twin turbos on the rear of the engine block and the uh, the twin pipes as well with um, not a lot of silencing. Why is he leaving so soon? We've got the PS13 rolling out already next to the Hampshire Photography Art Car. Oh no, he's just posing next to the BMW. Oh, I wonder what kind of antics fills up to this time. We've got this M2 who is flexing his jerry can on the front next to the purple Volkswagen Golf R with the carbon bonnet and the bronze OZ wheels. We've got the rose gold wheels on this Volkswagen Golf next door. Another Golf rotiforms again. We've got the forged carbon wing mirrors too. And look how far the rims stick out from the side of the car. The spokes are going to curb before anything else. But it's alright, he has a spare. We've got a Fiesta ST who is unfortunately sad and low, that's a shame. But he has got Cosworth wheels, whose steering wheel looks like an excitable face. He's also debadged the front of it. He is on the floor and he is next to a Punto with some demonic red lights that you can't really see. And next to the Audi is someone else who is flexing their jerry can. What's going on? Is this the new trend for 2021? There's a Focus RS Mark III in British gas blue with some black details around the headlights and on the front bumper. So one of the highlights of the petrol hedonism event at the Sharnbrook is lunchtime when we can get pizza. This is the churro special, a meat feast. We've also got vegetarian for the vegetarian. <laughs> oh, oh, live his combo, or oh, is he camouflage? Dude. Now the trouble with this top field is there is music playing so it's difficult to film a lot of what's going on so I'll do my best. There's a Californian plate on that E92. There's quite a few BMWs today, a few very modified ones. Obviously there's Hampshire Photography's one and then there's this E46 M3 with a wild kiss on it, some vents that are ventable, including behind the rear wheels as well. Cars are already rolling out, surpassing the show a little bit early, but we get to see and hear them, it's always good. And here's going to be a crowd favourite, a white Toyota Zupra with white wheels and quite a exuberant bonnet with a vent right on the front for the turbo. We've also got a thick rear end and a large spoiler too. I don't know if you can see that there's a rather deep diffuser on the Toyota Supra, one of the stars of the show today. And here's one of two BMWs that are wrapped in this colour today. I quite like it, it's like a satin orangey yellow. We've got this satin colour flip, pearlescent colour on the Seat. GTRs are leaving already, I can hear them in the distance. There's like a harmony of GTRs, I don't know if you could hear that. We've got a modified van over here in bronze and even Lotus. We've got a Lotus down there and more Golfs. And over here is a satin orange Audi RS3. I'm missing a lot of the departures. I might have to go to the exit soon, but I need to film these cars before they leave. It's a beautiful shade of blue on the Beamer. More BMW M2s, including this one with the gold split rims too. And one of a couple of Mustangs that are here today is passing the show too. And also an S15 here, yes. And over here we've also got a slammed Ferrari 355 next to a slammed Porsche 911. And down here we've got the matching Cayman GT4 too the Urban Range Rover SVR, both in turquoise. And due to the music that's in the top field, I've put together a little montage of some of the cars that I didn't get to film whilst talking about because of the music and the copyright situation. So here are a few of the cars that were up there, a lot of slam cars that we will later see leaving the show, including this M2 that seems to be rolling out over here as well. So as a result, I'm going to head to the exit and capture some of the cars leaving. But as ever, that will be in a separate video, so check out a link for that somewhere, somewhere. This Mini has arrived in grayscale. First I was thinking the lights are different, but then I realised no, it's the number plate as well. It's grey instead of yellow. Aww. Oh, what's he done? Oh, daisies. Oh, daisies. It's beautiful. Oh, my geezer. We've now got a little convoy rolling out of BMWs, including the satin gold M140. Okay, here comes the colourful convoy, starting with Luke's M140i and the BMW Arts Car livery. This very loud E92 M3 mix. This is going to sound fantastic. And the satin gold M140 next up. Joel's 760 Li with the straight pipe V12 being blocked by some horses, but we can hear it. Lovely. And we've 
also just had this Lamborghini Diablo turn up, something a little bit different to the modified German whips that are here today. I mean, rubbing on your arches is all very cool, but when you have tyre lettering, it doesn't quite work out. We've also got this very wide BMW 1 series, a lot of width about those arches. Now, colour has been a hot topic today, and whilst this does look like a standard silver Scirocco, you can see in the sunlight there's actually a lot of colours in the uh, metal flake. There's a man in the boots. So I did film a few cars at the exit. Cars are still kind of rolling out and parking up for photo shoots. So we're just hovering around, seeing what we can see and pointing out the cars. We can now film without music playing in the background. Some of the colourful Volkswagen clan have all parked next to each other. We've got purple and high vis on the end. And I've just noticed something unique on this Volkswagen Golf R. I know it's not the carbon wing. It's the crispy cream design on the front brake calipers. I've never seen that before on a car. Pretty sweet. Oh, he's doing some skids on the grass in the petrol head of his truck. Check out this self-proclaimed mad TT with the gold wheels and the external silences on the rear. One and two. Oh, we've got a bit of influences in the wild posing next to her BMW. Oh, what's this? A fairly standard Mercedes E-Class, you say? Nope. Check out the wheels on that. They're almost Maybach class, but they're not. I don't know what they are, but they really stand out. So as the day ends, everyone seems to be legalising their cars before they leave as they drive past the police that are here today, keeping the event secure. But whilst there are a few left around, we're going to head home now. So that was my day at the Auto ID slash Petrol Hedonism show here at the Sharnbrook Hotel. Check out my Instagram account if you want to win yourself a Y Food mini fridge and just tag a friend and you'll be entered to be in with a chance to win that. So I hope you enjoyed that video, but for now, thanks. Thanks for watching.